Reaching out to the ABC 7i team sharing their problems filing for unemployment benefits. The most common challenge, getting someone on the phone to help solve more complicated issues. Here's more now from consumer investigator Jason Knowles. The calls and emails are coming to the I-Team daily from people waiting on their money. They say they can't get a hold of anyone at the unemployment call center even after additional agents were hired. I'm trying to reach out to them daily. No response, no answer. Gwen Amundsen says she's in a complicated unemployment mess. The dental hygienist is out of work due to the pandemic. She says she has received $3,100 in benefits from the Illinois Department of Employment Security, but those payments have only led to more trouble. Amundsen says she's being told to give the money back and then some. How much are they saying you owe and why? Again, it's $3,736, which I never even received from them. And then um, they sent me a payment plan, and I'm out of work. In this notice of overpayment letter, IDES told Amundsen she was not eligible to receive any money and that she had to pay thousands of dollars back. However, she could have been writing. I just like, started crying. My husband said, just take a break from it. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I can't. Amundsen says she thinks the matter can be resolved and she could be eligible for benefits again if she could just talk to someone on the phone. She says she needs to explain that she no longer has another eight hour a week job, which could have made her ineligible. I have spent every day on the phone trying to reach out to them. IDES says it can't comment about specific claims, but it will look into her dispute, adding there are cases that require a connection with the claims representative for resolution. The department recently announced 180 new phone staffers at a virtual call center with 20 more coming online in the next few weeks. IDES also points out its website has been upgraded and that the department has paid out over $1.7 billion in benefits. But Amundsen and dozens of others who are complaining to the I-Team say despite the added call center agents, there are still problems. To help reduce the call center backlog, you should always go to the website first when filing for unemployment. Only call if you have a complicated situation. The state is also asking people to make calls based on an alphabetized schedule. Jason Knowles, ABC 7 Eyewitness News, now back to you.